So as I said for the start, and we get vaccine passports, and I might just say straight, I'm not going to lie to people. Because, again, people can have their own opinion on this, but I think it doesn't fringe on people's rights and human rights. Um, and your ability to travel, and um, to go to the pub, go to the shop, because it will, we have to admit it, in a few years, in a week's, months, next month, next year, next next February, whatever, um, it will be for going to the shop, it will be going for going out in the street, it will be going for going here, there, and everywhere. You will have to have it everywhere. You know, and you will have to show it everywhere. It'll be like, it'll be like the Soviet Union, the NKVD stopping you in the middle of the road and asking you, Where's your papers? Where's your vaccine passport? Um, which is what's come to really. We have to be totally honest with ourselves because when you're going to a pub now, if for inside dining or anything like that to open, you have to be fully vaccinated and X, Y, and Z. Um, and you have to show your card or whatever leaflet, or whatever. Um, or your app. Well, I bet you will be an app sooner or later. It'll be a mobile app, and you have to show. It'll be like communist China. It's not very peculiar, but anyway. Um, but yeah, I said this was coming. I didn't need to be told. I said it would come. That it will be in pubs and restaurants, and that will be in, then in a few months' time, be shops and be on the street, and then you have to you can't go on the public street unless you have it. Um, it's the way it's, it's going, and again, it does infringe on human rights. So whatever about you taking the vaccine or enter that, it's entirely your choice. Again, I'm not influencing anybody and what they want to do. It's up to people to decide themselves what's best for themselves and what's best for the family and for the community. Um, but again. But it's it's another thing infringing on people's rights for God knows how more how much more longer God knows it's been infringed too much human rights, um, but again, how long more two months six months seven months a year five years seven years hundred years, until people until, this vaccine passports get rid of are they permanent that's the question, um, because we can't. You know, we can't let people ha- have to go around showing their papers here, there and everywhere when they're asked by anybody to show their papers. It's not, as they say, it's not so. It's not the Soviet Union in the 19th, in the 1930s, um, during Stalin. And again, I do believe that people are entitled to travel and go and buy goods and services without having the vaccine passport or whatever. Because it does infringe on your rights. And I, d- I think, again, as many people say, it is in favour of your medical information again i don't go around asking people do you did you take the vaccine or whatever and um, that's their own business you know again that's their own call you know it's their own medical business if they want to tell me then fair enough i'm not going to ask them um because it's their own business again it's been a busy body if you ask them um but again i'm sure you would agree it's their own business it's their own medical history it's up to the doctor if they want to talk to the doctor or consultant or whatever so maybe the friend it, that's okay. I can't just go to one of the Boston streets to take the vaccine, um, because it's not it's not my it's not my uh, place. It's not my um right to ask anybody, um the same as uh, a member of the Galda Street or Connor, a member of uh, whatever the help the HSE, never to went and asked them for your vaccine passport because it's not not up to them. It's up to the your doctor or your consultant or your f- your friends or family if you tell them right. It's not up to some random stranger that a guard from God knows where it could be coming from Galway. To walk in the Sligo take for example, um, and you don't know, um, you know, you don't want to be telling your private information and showing you know, here down everywhere, um, and that's just putting it straight. And again, it's been what should the house of the workers because God forgive us that the TDs are getting the holidays soon, so the what the wash are true would let us screw me again. It's the same with everything, you know. They don't want anybody to screw nice and ask questions because again, they don't like people who ask questions. Um, who say, you know, I guess again, in the Constitution, I don't know how can they spin it, like, how would they spin it, OT in the West, how can they spin it, to say it's, 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 it's legal, how is it, how, like, explain, somebody explain, whatever about lockdowns, or into that, that was obviously not legal in the Irish Constitution, um, and we have to be formed with that state of war, state of rebellion, unless they declare a pandemic of rebellion, um, that's what it specifically says in the Irish, in the Irish Constitution war and rebellion um, for the emergency powers and which uh, what happened in World War Two, the emergency in Ireland was that we were not at war but you know, we were in danger of being brought into the war and um, both by Nazi Germany and both by um, you know, the Allies invading and so your state of emergency was rightly declared back then because at any moment at any time the British or the Germans could land on our soil but Again, it's a different kettle fish now. Um, and obviously Dublin was bound during the Second World War, so which was rightly that they didn't declare, declare an emergency to be on full alert. Um, but again, it, that was in the Constitution, says nothing about pandemics or anything like that. So 
no, they couldn't. I don't know how they can spin it. That it, it was in the constitution and it's just there. Um, but again, the, the human cost and everything from this is just ridiculous, and it's, it's it's a tragedy. Um, that's you. Know, that's over a year. Um, that we've seen so much death from people dying of cats. So, um, from other illnesses that have been treated, and again, people haven't been treated for these illnesses in a year, over a year. Some people. Um, and it's probably progressed, and God forgive us for that. But um, again, I say to you to write to your TDs, and um, write to them three and four feet again. It doesn't matter. Let your opinion be heard. Um, Tracy Matley did um a letter format in her latest video. Um, I mean, did the tick there for a second. I was trying to tick in for something else. Um, in her latest video, you can write to tds um if you do what they look it up you can put we all look td you put the name on it and write maybe a bit to yourself but um i do advise you to because they do block they did block a good few email they did block the emails that don't want people challenging them on it but i suggest to wing them or to write a letter again the old-fashioned way of doing things um because the cat just thrown in the bin because you 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 were let them you are their master <laughs> in other words you for you paid the wages, um the cat just thrown in the bin and say we can know this um especially if there's hundreds and hundreds of letters thrown up to every TD store step, um about the vaccine passports the cat just throw all of them out, um because they have to pay for the bin charges and we wouldn't want that, um, but again no all jokes aside there I'm trying to make a small bit light of the situation. Um, it is an infringement on our human rights and I do advise people to think about it um, and to write to your TDs if you do agree with me um, or even to just express concern to your local TD and say why as a person who elected you to this constituency to represent us in Dalai under the highest parliament in the land why did I elect you and you're being very sneaky and you will tell us what's the, what's, why is this happening like again, take for example, my local pub down the road, I happened to be just walking past to have an outdoor area. And it was a good, at most, it was a good 50 people there. Um, there was no mass or anything like that. Um, again, th and that happened three, you know, for the last week. Um, because obviously football games, the Euros and things like that. Um, and there has been one COVID case. There has been one COVID case. There has been one sniff or one car for anything like that. Has there been one. And there's been about... At most, about 400, 500, 600 people there. Um, has been one case of COVID there. Um, and again, it has been checked and there hasn't been one case. There's been one outbreak. There hasn't been one person admitted to any hospital or anything like that. So please explain you know, what's the need for it. Because people, half the people, I I'm assuming there were half of them were vaccinated now. Um, I'm assuming, again, I'm assuming I didn't go in and ask them. Um, but yeah, let me know what you take. Um, and, you know, do... Think about it. Thank you.